is a tempo player. This is a fun game for them. They're playing a team that is ranked in the top three. Some people think might be the best team in the country. They have everything to gain. I just let it all hang out, and who knows what can happen. So, I'm Penn State Sports Network, a division of Paxson Sports. Just underway here at Franklin Field. In case you missed it, Temple did win the toss and opted to take the football. Indio on the far side. Frederick, just a sophomore. Indio, a freshman. It's a high kick that's not going to go very deep. Indio at the nine. He's at the 10, the 15, the 20, and is hit very, very hard at the 26-yard line by to the opposite side. And they have a slot. That's the tight end to the right, the fullback. And the tailback is, would you believe, Juan Gaddy. And Juan Gaddy gets the first carry out across the 35. The and, outside. The and the backs are offset and split. A deep handoff to Gaddy once again going wide to the right. He bangs across the 35. Again, the backs are offset. Morse, the fullback, is back, back to pass once again. Here's a down and out complete to the fullback, Sid Morse, at the 37-yard line. And here they come. Here, here comes Willie Smith at the screen. Good call to Gaddy. Gaddy's at the 40, the 45, the 50. He's to the outside. He's at the Penn State 40, the 35, the 30, the 25. And it's finally ankled down by Brian Miller and Phil Yabo. Pro high this time with a wide each way. The tight end is still flexed. Here's a deep handoff to Gaddy. He's, no, this is the tailback in there. Danny Davis who's in and plays the Gaddy. Morse and Danny Davis. There's a deep handoff to Davis, and he's hit hard at the line of scrimmage. Superb Little play. One to the right, which is the tight end, and straight back to pass goes Burris. He's throwing it down and out, and Willie Smith was looking at downfield, but could not hold on to the ball. will be the snapper. It's back. It's down. It's kicked. It's good. And with 10-19 remaining in the first quarter, the score is Temple 3, Penn State nothing. Now three look four for 50 yards in that drive. And Penn State's offense gets a chance to move the ball for the first time today. And that young back, Gaddy, looked very good in that first half. Terry Collins has him set in an I eye formation. The tight right end is Kyle Brady. Split left is Ingram. Split right is Scott, the flanker. He goes in motion. John Whitman and Kajana Carter in the backfield. There's our version of a draw, and uh, Carter breaks the tackle across the 20 to the 22. And it's uh, Chris Campbell in motion from right to left. Yeah. And uh, Collins is back to pass. Throws incomplete, underthrown. Intended for Ingram yeah. at the 30. Morris up front, Juan Gaddy in the back. Henry Morris, Burris calling the signals. Looks wants to flare it out to Morris. He does at the 45, the 50 in Penn State territory. Foot backfield this time and a wide receiver each way and straight back to pass goes down and out of the tight end. The tight end is around the corner and knocked down by in Penn State territory. There's that offset set in the backfield and there's that fake and a reverse give yeah. to Baxter. Baxter's got some running room. Is he at the 40? He's at the 35. In that's the wide side of the field. And Burris on a fake hand gives to Gaddy running straight ahead. Good play by your boy, Cody, to P.J. Cook. And there's a, a fake handoff play action. He's going to go deep for Baxter. Baxter's on Miller, and Miller covers Taking him well. his time. Is rolling to the left, and Dave Thomas almost drags him down. He throws deep this time, and he's going to get a penalty on an interference call at the six-yard line. And... Uh, you know, Pittman had good coverage. He didn't do it on purpose, but that doesn't make any way. sense. We have a new tight end in there in Kendrick Whitehead, who's split to the left. Sliding to the short side is Burris. Option pitch to Davis. Caught before he can get out of the Losing contain. Let's see if they go out. Straight drop back. Straight back to pass goes Burris. Four-man rush. Throws towards the end zone. Incomplete just over the outstretched hand. 3 nothing. Temple leads. They're trying to tack right on it with another field goal. The snap is good. The set is good. The kick is up. And it's good. And with the score six to nothing in favor of Temple, there's a break in the action. Now this word stopped will... against possibly the weakest team on their schedule. And Penn State's behind for the first time this year. Masson gets a big foot into the ball. Going to be taken at the goal line by Kajana Carter. He's coming up the right side, breaks through into the secondary and across the 21-yard line. Kajana Carter are split. Engram split end left. Pretty got right here's a wide sweep to carter carter's in the secondary out across the 30 to 35 and has the third down. penn state in a pro eye john whitman the up back and there's a deep handoff to carter he has a hole he's right straight ahead across the 40 man the down look but they're going to come with the corner man over on the left side right. and here's a sweep to the far side by to carter carter turns up field and turns his way to the 50 yard line for what will be on the left side this time and in motion comes the fullback john whitman back to pass 
there's a intensive screen for Carter. It was open, but deflected. They have a single setback this time, and John Whitman straight back to pass goes Collins. He has a lot of time. Throws over the middle. It's complete to Freddie Scott at the 34-yard line. Before nothing Temple lead. Collins has the back split. There's a reverse give to Bobby Ingram. He has Collins in front of him. Gets a block. He's around the corner at the 30. He's at the 25 and down to the 19-yard line. Split in the backfield. Back to pass goes Collins. He's got a blitz coming from the blind side. Down soon. All right, there's a quick pop give to the fullback. John Whitman now still on his feet. Inside still the wide receivers. And there's a fake and a bootleg to the right by Terry Collins. Throws complete to Brady. Brady into the end zone. Touchdown, Kyle Brady. Uh, late, <laughs> late, they got to get him. But again, good play by Kerry Collins. It's there. It's down. It's up. It's good. And with the score of Penn State 7, Temple 6, let's take a time. Brett Conway, it's high and deep to the five-yard line. And it's Frederick coming up the middle, and the little guy is hit in midair. The player is still in there, Fran. Three wide receivers. Yeah. There's a deep handoff to Gaddy. Oh. Gaddy is missed and is knocked down. Long count by Burris, and Burris is going to go deep handoff once again to Gaddy. Gaddy on the draw is going to outrace people to the outside, gets a good block at the corner. He's at the 45, the 40 is knocked out of bounds at the 40. And there's the snap. Burris is straight back to pass. Poor man, Raj. Oh, look at the grab of Scioli. How could he miss that? Scioli chases and throws. Did he make, said he made it now. They're sliding along the line. The option to pitch to Danny Davis, the tailback. He powers his way across the, the 45. Replacing Kersey. The inside wide is the uh, the uh, other wide receiver. Gaddy, Gaddy is 44 yards and seven carries. Back to pass goes Burris. He has good protection, and he's caught in the backfield, and down he goes. And another flag on the play. We may have a hold this time. In the backfield, and Burris looking over the defense. In motion goes the fullback, and a, a draw to Gaddy. Gaddy coming to the outside, but this time, fill your ball, Cody. Bobby Engram is the lone receiver. Penn State has a peel back, and it's a wobbly spiral that is going to hit at the 10 and go out of bounds at about the seven yard open line. Air. You bet your life we're open air. Penn State now with a give to the fullback. John Whitman. Whitman out across the 10 in the backfield. The two wide receivers are left. There's a pitch to Carter. Carter coming wide. He's at the 15. He's at the 20 and belts it down on a throw game eye formation with Whitman and Kajana Carter. Seeing a lot of action here early. There's a deep Fake play action, throwing deep to Bobby Ingram downfield. Ingram makes the catch at the Temple 30. He's at the 20 and out of bounds at the 15-yard line. What a play. Great throw. Terry Collins shows he's got a big time arm because there's a lot. The wind was in his face, but we were waiting and for that. Slot right this time is, again, to John Carter. They're going to throw here. Straight back to pass goes Collins. Throws over the middle. Caught by Scott. Touchdown, Penn State. A post pattern run by Freddie Scott left to right. Can't be any better. You can't do it any better than that, Fran. They put Carter in the slot. Stretch that defense. You, if you want to play the run that tight, and, you know, challenges take away from the run with guys like Scott and Ingram and Carter coming out of the backfield and a, and a, and a quarterback with Kerry Collins on. Kicking to Frederick and Indio. Once again, it's a high kick that Frederick takes at the one. Right straight up the middle of the 10. Tries to get to the outside. Nowhere to go. He's knocked down at the 16-yard line. Boy, Kersey to the right. The tight end is stretched out just a bit. Here's a sprint draw give to Gaddy. Gaddy's hit at the line of Kersey right. Brant backs to her right. There's a deep handoff to Gaddy. Mazik's got him. Chris Mazik stops him at the 21. Safety man. They are coming, but he gets the kick away. Nice high spiral. Gangram has to go way, way back. Takes it at the 32. Makes the first man miss. Comes to the outside. Tries to make a move. We have a clip oh. at the 35 yard line, and he gets to the 40. Three in the first half. Let's pause for station identification. This is the Penn State Sports Network, a division of Pac. Camel goes in motion from right to left. There is a give to Carter. Has a hole up the middle. Runs into the stack. Almost gets away, and his gang it's tackle set back is Whitman. It's a pass play, would you believe? A look, and an uh, out pattern to uh, Bobby Ingram at the 35-yard line before he's forced out of bounds at the 34. They call it incomplete? Or did they? They're in tight. Let's see if they can get it straight ahead. They go to Carter. He's got it and more at the 45. He's at the 49-yard line before Johnstone in the same backfield. And a play action. Throw down the middle to Brady. He's got it at the 40. He's at the 35, the 30, and down to the 26-yard line. Johnny Carter is out, and John Whitman is back in at fullback. There's a give to Whitman right straight ahead. Look at Whitman run, bowling over tacklers across the 20, inside the 15. Right. Tackle is Archie. 
Straight ahead to Whitman. Whitman on his feet gets to the one-yard line. Almost Bring got a tight end and goes Brian Nome to the wing back left and comes motion to the right. There's a give to uh, the tailback. John Whitman, the fullback, is into the end zone for the touchdown. It was Whitman, and they had Milne. You know, Milne hasn't played too much so far. I think he played in the second half, but he's Collins angry. He's in the secondary for Penn State. Back to pass goes Henry Burris. They're going right after him. Snyder with the throw. is a deep throw downfield, and it's caught by the wide receiver on a superb play. And there's a rollout right by Henry Burris, looking, throwing down to the outside, and it's complete at the 16-yard line. Burris on the sprint draw, gives to Gaddy, he's looking for the corner, has it, gets to the spread out this time, with two wides to the right and one to the left. Morris the fullback, back to pass goes Burris, has time, throws, incomplete, good play by Gelsheiser, may have intercepted. In motion goes the fullback, Morris. He's draw. back on the draw to Gaddy, Gaddy gets, spins away from one tackler and gets what looks like the first down at the four yard. Same formation. Pitch to Gaddy, caught in the backfield by Willie Smith. At the 10 yard now line. In at the tailback position along with Sid Morse, the fullback. Straight back to pass goes Moore, goes Burris, throwing. No, he uh, pumps on it back, pulls it back, throws in the end zone. Touchdown, Temple! Well, that's a great play by Burris, but what happened? Atkins had him. All right, Atkins. Goes, attempt, goes straight, rolls to the right, looks, throws into the end zone, knocked down by Clint Holes. No good. He's not a fluke. Richard Masson kicks a high. It's really caught in the wind, and it's going to hit the ground. And Kajana Carter makes a one-handed stab at the 10, gets to the outside, the 15, the 20, the 25, the 30, misses the stab step one tackler and makes it. a great Let's see if they can do it again. Collins not wasting any time. Is back to pass. Screen to Carter to the left. He's at the 35, the 40, the 45, the 50. Hurry comes to the outside. The 40, the 40, the 35, the 30, and down to the 29-yard line. Formation. And Collins back once again to pass. Looks, dumps it to Carter on the right side. Great catch at the knees. He's at the 35, the, the 30, the 25, and out of bounds at the 20. No, he didn't get out of bounds. They kept the clock yeah. moved. So we'll have a timeout here. He's calling over to look at him, and here comes Bobby Ingram over. He really lowered his shoulder on that and really tried to punish the defensive back. Dr. Sebastianelli comes out. I don't like the looks of this at all. They're, they're working with his right hand. He may have dislocated a thing. Well, what do I know? Here's a pass over the middle. Scott, touchdown! They can do it when they want to do it. Again, those post patterns with those wide receivers are almost impossible to stop unless you double cover and play inside out, have some somebody coming from the inside and have somebody, a cornerback on the outside. And that's three touchdown passes in the first half, and Collins can make it look Two-point play for Penn State. Back to pass goes Collins, looks, throws into the end zone, just beyond Mike Archie, incomplete. And the score remains Penn State 27. Tend to run the clock out here, which he's going to do. Yeah, he goes to the fullback. First time he's carried today, and Morris has stopped right at the line of scrimmage. No game. Penn State will watch the clock run out as Eric Clare made that defensive play. And that's the end of the first half with the score. Penn State 27, Temple 12. Back after this on the Penn State Sports Network. Kickoff for Temple. He's not on the sidelines, Fran. I scan the sidelines. There's a line drive kick on the ground that's bouncing to Mike Archie. He picks it up at the 10. He's at the 15. He's at the 20. He's into the wedge and gets out to the 25 and out to the 20. Front moving in, I guess, is what you're supposed to say about this kind of weather. There's a give to Milne right straight ahead. He pounds to the 34. 27. Let's see if they can get the yardage back. They're going to go on a straight drop back. And uh, Collins is being chased, runs out of the pocket, still coming to the sideline, looking, throws, intercepted at the 35-yard line, and a flag on the play at the same time. A ball uh, brings him out. Sid Morris and Juan Gaddy are in the backfield. Baxter and Kersey are the wide receivers, and straight back to pass goes Burris against the four-man rush. Throws a curl, completes at the 25-yard line. Morris the other. Straight back to pass goes Morris, throws deep down to the right corner, incomplete. Good play by Brian Miller. All right, it's second down now and 10 at the 24-yard line. And they have the back split once again in a wide receiver each way. Burris back to pass, throws to the tight end, Cook. He's at the 20-yard line, breaks the tackle, and gets to the 17-yard line. line. They're offset in the backfield this time. Straight back to pass goes Burris. He throws an out pattern to Morris, the fullback. He has it at the 10, and it's knocked down at the 5. There he is, sliding uh, down. There's the option give to Gaddy, trying to get outside. Oh, superb play. Back to the right, the back to split in the backfield. Gaddy and Moore straight back to pass. 
Burris throws over the middle. It's incomplete. Maston is the kicker. The punter is the holder. John Shea puts it down. Kick is up. It is good. And with the score, Penn State 27, Temple 15. Let's take a timeout. This is the quarterback and has him in a pro eye. Nothing unconventional. Pitch to Archie coming to the left. He's at the 20, the 25, still on his feet and has what might be a first down at the 30 yard line. Franklin Field. Long count by Kerry Collins. He has a back split this time, and he's going to look in a pass complete over the middle to, on a slant pattern to Bobby Ingram. With the Penn State in a pro eye this time with a first down at the 42-yard line. Collins back to pass again. He's got a man deep going downfield. It's Ingram. He's at the 20 and makes the catch and an interference call at the 8-yard line. What a catch by Ingram. Well, it was both ways. It was a great throw, Fran. With this weather condition, that was a fabulous throw. Of Kerry Collins is putting an exhibition on of long ball throwing. Bomber. Full house backfield. Jason Sloat is in motion. To give us a mill, mill on the left side. He barrels into the touch. Wow. In the zone for a touchdown. That is a Penn State wow. offensive surge. They blew Temple back five yards. Easy touchdown. And now, you know, this. Terry Killens is a linebacker. There's Burris back on the draw play to Gaddy. Gaddy is caught in the backfield by Chris Snyder. And relatively long for, as George has said. Straight back to pass goes Burris. It's a screen over the middle. Incomplete. More Brian time. Milne and Mike Archie are the running backs. The pitch to Archie in the short side. It's a halfback pass. He's got Freddie Scott downfield. Freddie Scott makes the catch at the 10, the 5. Touchdown! Mike Archie with a one-for-one one completion. Well, I'm surprised they threw it, to be honest with you. I thought they might save that baby. But I mean, they want to show it. Four men on the three-point stance, one and a two. There's Burris back to pass. Oh, looking, yeah, looking. Oh. He's buried by Snyder and Atkins. The, the ball, ball is loose. Picked up by Claire. What are they going to call? Claire says, I'm in. The official says no. And Penn State has the ball. It's getting sloppy out there on about the two-inch line. And again, the official will not. Brian Milne it. goes in motion from left to right. The give is to Atkins. Touchdown, Penn State. Thanks. Now I finally call it. Okay. I saw it. I saw it. Uh, wait, I think that was John Whitman on I, I haven't. We haven't seen a Penn State kid leap for a touchdown. In a long Herring while. is in at the safety position, and they're in a pro eye. In motion goes Morse. Uh, sprint out draw to Juan Gaddy, and he was popped by, set up by Mazzini. Gaddy, the, the setback. And Burris is rolling to the left, looking, throwing for Baxter, incomplete, covered under the, the tight left end is. We'll get that next time. Wally Richardson has him in the has him set in the backfield, looks over the defense, gives to Milne. Milne running wide to the left, cuts up field at the 30. He's at the 50. He's at the 45, the 30, the 35, the 20. He's still on his feet at the 10 and down to the four-yard line. At the 255 bound back and run like that. You know, he's an Olympic athlete. We were waiting for the day that he gets it all together. You see the uh, way he Stephen gets Pitts and John Whitman are the other setback. The give is to Pitts coming to the right. He's got a... Oh, he lost his footing. And we have a penalty flag. We may have a face mask against Temple. You know, as I said, they got the first line in there because you can't really... You know where he's going to put it. Eye formation in the backfield. Milne and Pitts. Pitts with a handoff straight ahead. Cuts. Ten. He's at the five. Reaches to the five-yard line. Foot to the right. You know, we think it's Scott on the left. Let's see. Back to pass. Richardson slant to Ingram. Incomplete. Well, it was a good check off. Could have been a little lower. Yeah, with Brian mm -hmm. Milne and Stephen Pitts. Back to pass goes Richardson. He's rolling to the left. He looks into the end zone. Throws way over the head of uh, Kyle Brady. Incomplete pass. Well, Temple will take over at the four-yard line. He had Campbell. There was right nobody. In. Left tight end is Flex. Rolling to the right is Burris. Just got away from the charging... Uh, Blind, so I'm kind of surprised. In motion goes the tailback. There's a draw give to Danny Davis. Danny Davis cuts back to the middle, gets the first down out across the 15, is down to the seventh set. With Danny Davis and Raphael Mack in the backfield. Straight back to pass goes Burris. Keeps one back in to protect. Throws deep down the side. Intercepted by Herring. No, he's out of bounds. He came down out of bounds. Back split behind him, and he drops straight back on the draw give to the fullback, Ralphie L. Henry Burris, the quarterback. 
straight back to pass. Looks immediately to Davis, then throws over the middle. It's a great catch by Van Johnson at the 45. The field. Now that's left. There's that draw again to Danny Davis. He will not get outside this time. Atkins, good. So let's see if they can move the sticks on this third and relatively short yardage. They go to Danny Davis, and he's got room on the left side and gets the first down at the 43-yard line. And back to pass goes Henry Burr. Four-man rush for Penn State. He's got a man wide open in the middle. Van Johnson makes the catch. He's hit by Cole. Clint holds incomplete pass. Secondary. Split backs in the backfield. Burr's back to pass. He's looking. He's going deep for Van Johnson. Deep downfield. He makes the catch. Touchdown. Brian Miller this time beaten and would had himself turned around. Well, we mentioned before that two. Burris looks, lost one. It's her for Baxter in the end zone, and please call it, sir. Incomplete. Up Thank now. you. As uh, Maston uh, kicks a high pop, that Herring, Herring is going to take at the 15 yard line. He's up the near sideline. He's at the 20. He's at the 25, and Copper behind at the 31 the, uh, yard line. Wing uh, back set with the tailback on the right wing and the lone setback is Milne straight back to pass Richardson looking throws complete to Archie at the 35 he's at the 40 Chris and out Hamill of bounds split to the left and Wally Richardson is the quarterback there's a spot pass complete nope he dropped the ball Phil Chris Collins Hamill from right to left that's to the wide side of the field a deep handoff to Archie going to the weak side he's at the 45 and across the 45 and to the 40 wide field to the left there's a straight edge. No, fake. Play action fake. Throw incomplete. Now Davis in the low in the tailback position. Looks like Ralphie L. Mack is the fullback. They give to Davis. Davis is gonna be stopped short of the first down if they hold him up, and they do. Kick it away for the Temple Owls. 48-21, Penn State leading with a little better than eight minutes to play. Good high wobbly spiral. Mike Archie looks. The ball almost fooled him. He takes it at the 32. Starts upfield. The 35, the 40, the 45, the 50. He's down the far sideline to the 40 and out of bounds at the Temple 33. So Jason Slode and Stephen Pitts are in the backfield. Back to pass. Richardson dumps it off to Pitts. Pitts gets to the 35. And Justin Williams in motion from right to left. There's a sprint out gift to Stephen Pitts. Jukes and dodges his way inside the 40. Still on his feet. Fumbles the ball. It's loose. And we'll wait to see who covers it. And it looks like Temple's ball. It. And he's back to pass. And Schioli's being held again. Throws deep downfield. Mark Tate there, but the guy makes the catch. Calls well, later. It'll be Danny Davis. Or there's the option play to Davis. He gets the first down at the 35 and his fourth down. And Van Johnson, the wide receivers. And back to pass goes Burris. Throws over the middle. It's complete. As uh, Mac is the fullback. And here's a reverse. Give to the swingman. Mark Baxter, he can't get outside. Brandon Noble, great penetration, and Schioli also. Schioli. To the right. And in the slot is Mark Baxter. Scrambling to the, to the right. The ball is thrown up for grabs, and it's caught at the five-yard line by Mark Baxter. He's probably going to throw it again. He's back. The rush by Killens. He's got him. Throws him down. Fumbles the ball. Nope. They right. call it the ground. They call it a forward pass. Yes, they call it an incomplete. Yeah, I said in defense of Penn State, uh, you know, fairness to their defense, they haven't done anything. They could let Gillen come on a blitz and he's going for a And Ambrose Fletcher, the give is to Eric Dolman, now in at the flanker left. Here comes the pitch to Fletcher coming to the left. He's into the secondary across the 50 yard line into the Temple 40. The snap. To give to uh, Jason Slode, the fullback slows into the secondary at the 40, lowers his shoulder, and is knocked down inside the 40 at the 39-yard line. Another first down, I believe. Oh, where the final they? score, Penn State 48, <laughs> Temple 21. More after this word from your local station. This is the Penn State Sports Network.